Wow. Wow, he knows these combos, and he knows the space, too. He's definitely experienced. Um, he ha he's got a lot of uh, practice in South Carolina. Very nice string by Perseus, though. Get Arfang off to the stage, and actually even back up to percent. Green airs off of that. So, same thing. We're probably just going to end up having a, a back and forth contest here, but instead of going from back and forth neutral, it looks like this is more back and forth combos. That is basically this matchup in a nutshell. Pretty much. One or the other. But Falcon it does hit a little bit harder than Sheik, but Sheik has uh, Sheik is much safer, has a lot more guarantees and follow-ups. Oh, he gets it that time. You looked for it the first time he did the back throw, but catches him the second month. Pegasus has definitely throwing out a few. Ooh, wow, that back end. A little too almost. aggressive onto that platform, and Arfang yeah. actually nearly died to the back throw because of it. I've seen Percy's definitely throw out a, several smash attacks looking for his opponent to kind of run into him. He paid yeah, off a few times. But it might have worked against Wa, but Arfang is definitely like not the type of player to let that happen to him. <laughs> Nice needles to recover his ledge. And the recovery. Oop. And Arfang's mo movement, just like landing onto the ground and being able to move right after, it's just so smooth right now. Yeah, it is. He's got great movement options here. Oop. Air dodge, but no punish there. Perseus is getting a little too aggressive off of the stage, even with um, Sheik's up B having, being the way that it is with invincibility. The invincibility frames, yeah. Perseus eventually, uh, per Perseus essentially just gave up stage control at that point. Gets yeah. a nice down tilt, though. That down tilt right into it. it. Down tilt comes out so fast on Falcon. It's oh, like, yeah. You don't think it comes out fast, and then it comes out fast, and then you get, you can actually die to it like Arfang did there. Like, oh, yeah, and you can go, sh it just sends you straight out, too. Ooh, oh, wow. Yeah, he, uh, Perseus actually air dodged after he went off the stage with the Falcon kick. I was thinking maybe he didn't mean to go off the stage. He was trying to shield maybe. Yeah. But because of that air dodge, he wasn't really able to get his double jump in time. So he might have panicked a little bit. Hmm. Let's see what uh, Perseus decides to do to try and answer. It's no character changes. And oh, we're going to go back to Town of City again. Or for this match. There was a time in when I actually knew this matchup. <laughs> a little feeling off at the start. And yeah, here we go again. Kind of going back and forth. With I the think Percy's meant to do another neutral layer there. Yeah. Or possibly even an up air. He ended up with a dash tag instead. Might have been an error on his uh, jump input. I like I got him He's going to get a couple of up airs out of that. Moves away. And, and even with um, Arfax experience and whatnot, Percy is actually able to keep up right now. Yeah. Ooh, that's going to be precarious. But he makes it. Yeah, Rook covered a little bit high there. And Arfax was actually like. Arfax was playing high for that too, but. Uh, Perseus didn't go quite as high as our Penguin thought he was going to. So the up air misses it. Oof. Yeah, our Penguin decided not to really do too anything, anything too crazy there. Oh, the wind box ends up running a little faster. The up air again. Oh, he catches the last hit, but we not enough. Yeah, we town city and uh, Perseus still living. That down tilt sending in the opposite way. Again, yeah, like the very uh, reverse of that. Wow. From there into one needle into bouncing fish. That's cheap for you. Yeah. And, wow, right now. Oh my god. Our fate just. That, that, our, was, that was pretty. Um, that was sick. That, that, that was pretty cute by Arfang right there. Arfang was running off that first stock kill, and he just kept going. 